For thousands of years, it's been one of the world's great mysteries. Just how were the pyramids built so deep in the Egyptian desert? Cosmic ray X-rays just mapped the Great Pyramid and showed two hidden spaces. One is large, deep above a known hallway. One sits near the north entrance. AI helped read the data, but the scan came from physics. No drills, no damage. Why leave empty space inside a monument built to last? The answer points to design, not treasure. And it could change how we think the pyramid was built. The load paths inside tell a story. Here's how the scan worked. Space showers the Earth with particles called muons. They pass through stone like weak X-rays. Thick rock blocks more. Empty space blocks less. Detectors inside and around the pyramid count the muons. More counts in one direction means a void. That's muography. Near the surface, infrared thermography spots warm and cool patches that hint at gaps. And for one area, a tiny endoscope slipped through a mortar seam to confirm a corridor. AI helps clean tracks, fuse data, and build 3D models. But the scanner is physics, not AI. No drills, no damage. Multiple teams repeated the measurements, and results matched. Timeline, nature. 2017 and 2023, peer-reviewed papers detail finds. The first discovery is called the Big Void. It sits above the Grand Gallery inside Khufu's Great Pyramid. Scientists did not enter it. They saw it with muon imaging. Three kinds of detectors mapped the density. Nuclear emulsion films, plastic scintillators, and gas trackers. Each type saw the same signal. More muons came through this zone, which means less stone. The team published the result in Nature in 2017. That adds strong weight. How big is it? At least 30 meters long. The cross section may be like the Grand Gallery, but the exact shape is still unknown. It could be one long space, or it could be a series of gaps that line up. Right now, the image is a density cloud, not a clear room. No passages are known to reach it. No artifacts were reported. Stay with this. The scale may be larger than it sounds. Why would builders leave such a space? One idea is stress relief. Empty zones can spread weight and protect nearby rooms. Think of the stacked chambers above the king's chamber. Another idea is construction logistics. A temporary space may have helped move or place blocks. Some suggest an internal ramp. That idea is debated and not proven. What we do know is simple. The space is real, large, and still sealed. And there is a twist. The void sits right above a steep internal hallway. That makes the engineering question sharper. Is it guarding the gallery? or marking a build path. The second hidden space sits near daylight, behind the north face above the original entrance. Builders stacked triangle-shaped chevron blocks there. Behind them is a straight corridor. Muon data and thermal checks hinted at it. In 2023, a tiny endoscope passed through a mortar seam and saw it directly. It is about nine meters long, with a cross-section near two meters by two. The ceiling is gabled, not flat. The walls look plain, no decoration, no objects, just empty air framed by careful blocks. But here is the odd part. Both ends look closed, at least from the camera. The end at the far side looks sealed. The entrance side is hidden by the chevrons. This fits a clear pattern. The Great Pyramid uses empty spaces to ease weight. Think of the stacked chambers above the King's Chamber. The North Corridor likely does that job over the entrance zone. The result was shown with video and supported in a peer-reviewed paper in 2023. It matched the physics hints without breaking stone. If a small, smart corridor guards the entrance, what guards the Grand Gallery?
Could the big void be part of the same plan? The next part explains why these spaces matter and how they may map the load paths inside. No link to known passages has been confirmed. For now, it stands alone. That may change. These spaces matter because they show how the builders managed weight in stone. The pyramid stacks millions of blocks. Stone pushes down and sideways. If you do nothing, passages crack. The answer is stress relief. Empty zones shift and spread loads. We already see this above the king's chamber. Five small relieving spaces and sloped slabs carry weight away. The north corridor looks like the same trick over the entrance. It is simple, elegant, and durable. The big void raises the stakes. It sits above the grand gallery, a place that concentrates force. A long, empty zone there could reduce pressure on the gallery's roof and walls. Or it could be a space used during building, then sealed, room for staging blocks, turning sleds, or shifting angles. Both ideas point to planning, not accident. Here is the conflict. People want a secret room with treasure. Scientists want a map of forces. The payoff is knowledge, better models, safer conservation, and a new view of old kingdom engineering. But one question still hangs. Are these spaces part of one design together? Let's clear the noise. No, a secret treasure room was not opened. No doors were broken. No artifacts were found. The two spaces are voids seen by physics and one corridor seen by a tiny camera. No, this does not prove an internal ramp. That idea is still debated. The data fit simpler answers, stress relief and smart construction. No, the results are not hidden. Teams shared data, repeated measurements, and published in peer-reviewed journals in 2017 and 2023. Different detector types saw the same signals. Infrared and a tiny camera backed them near the surface. No, AI scanners did not do the discovery. AI helped clean and model the data. The scan comes from muons and careful engineering checks. That is the point. What then can AI do next? It may sharpen the picture, merge views, and test load paths in virtual models. But that is where the story turns. AI is the helper, not the scanner. It cleans noisy muon tracks so we see true paths. It aligns data from different detectors and angles. That fusion makes a stronger picture. It then builds 3D shapes from the density hits, turning dots into a void model. Engineers use those models to make a digital twin of the pyramid. They run stress tests in software to see how weight flows. They try shapes for the void and test which ones match the counts. AI also flags outliers and bad readings before they mislead. In short, physics collects the signals, AI speeds the map. But maps raise new questions. If the model sharpens more, Will it reveal links between the two spaces? The next steps are patient and precise. Teams add more muon detectors and leave them running for months. Longer exposure means a sharper picture. They shift detectors to new angles to triangulate the shapes. Engineers refine the 3D model and test how different void shapes change stress. Infrared checks continue near the surface. The endoscope might return, but only through tiny joints, if allowed. No drilling is planned. The policy is non-invasive. A micro-probe or micro-drone is possible only with strict approval and minimal risk. If the geometry firms up, we can test if edges align or if gaps repeat. A clean map could reveal a hidden pattern. And if that pattern points to a link, what lies between them? Quick recap, cosmic ray muons mapped two hidden spaces inside Khufu's pyramid. A long big void 
sits above the Grand Gallery. A short corridor hides behind the North Face chevrons. AI helped clean and model the data. Physics did the scan. No artifacts, no breaches. Peer-reviewed in 2017 and 2023. Most signs point to stress relief, though smart construction logistics remain possible. Which do you find more convincing, load management or building strategy? And if both are true, what pattern should we expect next? Repeating gaps or a single guiding line? The map may decide. The picture is clear enough to be real and vague enough to tempt. A long sealed void above the Grand Gallery. A small gabled corridor behind the chevrons, both empty, both deliberate. The load paths hint at one story. Stress moved away from weak points. But another story lingers. Logistics, staging, ramps now gone. If models sharpen, edges may align. If edges align, a route could appear. Stone to silence to stone again. So here's the question. If a line connects them, where does it go? And what does it pass? Non-invasive rules still hold, so only patient muons and tiny cameras can chase it. When the map tightens, the pyramid may draw its own blueprint in shadows. Watch the gaps align soon.